What's up guys, how's it going? Today you're going to see an amazing story about the origin of Zeno-sama and all the gods. Have you ever wondered how it all came about? You will find out everything here in this complete story. So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me and of course don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Well, without further ado, let's get started. In the beginning, even before the creation of the 18 universes and the very creation of Zenosama, the supreme being that governs all 18 universes, there was nothing, not even life, and much less death, until one day a being was born out of nothing. This being was so powerful that he could create and destroy universes with just a thought. It's not known where he came from, let alone its origin, but it is known that he was the creator of everything. This being was called Zenio and the father of Zenosama. Yes, the first thing that God Zenio created was Zenosama. Zenio said, In this world there is nothing, so I will create something for my son to rule over, said Zenio. Before a wave of golden energy left his body, such energy was able to create a place where the palace of your son. Zenio said, With these stars I will create 18 universes, and they will be ruled by my son Zeno. The Supreme God spoke before taking the 18 stars in his hand, throwing them in the air. At that moment, 18 portals appeared, and the 18 stars entered each one in your portal. Soon, the 18 stars appeared in place where there was nothing but the purest void, and suddenly, boom, each one of the stars exploded. The explosion was so powerful that it ended up giving life to an entire universe. That day, hundreds of planets were created, and the lives were born at that moment. Zenio said, now there are planets where thinking beings inhabit, and even beings that can become divine beings. The balance exists at this moment, but this balance and harmony will not last for a long time. So I will create the gods who took care of life, and gods who took care of destruction, because this is the cycle of life. I gave life, and from destruction came more lives. But not only that, there will be gods who will be neutral between these two aspects. The being spoke before concentrating and soon 13 seeds appeared in its hand. Zenio said, I need someone to take care of my son and take care of him and help him in his decisions in the future. The being spoke before making an intense light appear in his hands and soon a being appeared in front of him. He had white hair and your skin was kind of bluish. The mysterious being spoke, Who am I? Who am I? What was I created for? What is my life purpose? The mysterious being asked Zenio who was in front of him. Zenio said, You are now called Aishinkin. You are an angel and I am your creator. And your life purpose is to take care and help my son Zeno, who will govern all 18 universes that I created. You understood your mission of life, Daishinkin? Asked the supreme being to the newly named angel Daishinkin. Daishinkin said, Yes, my lord. My only goal in life is to take care of your son Zeno and guide him in his decisions. In addition to helping him take care of the 18 universes that you created, said the angel still kneeling in front of Zenio. Zenio said, Great, I need you to do something for me. In the 18 universes that I created, I will also create balance, and for that there must be life and destruction. In this way I want you to plant these seeds that I am giving you, each in these universes. These seeds will create a tree called the Kaiju tree. Its fruits will give rise to the Kayo and the Supreme Kayo Lords, who will be responsible for the life and creation of the universe. The Supreme Being explained to Daishinkan, who still remained kneeling as a sign of respect and devotion to Zenio. Daishinkan said, I will do it immediately, sir. Zenio, said the angel, getting up and then taking all the seeds of the Kaiju tree and then traveling to the other 18 universes and planting the seeds of the Kaiju tree and then returning to where Zenio was saying he completed his mission to Zenio-sama. The angel speaks, kneeling in front of Zenio. Zenio said, Great, now I need you in a few hundred years to find some beings and turn them into gods of destruction. In addition, I need these gods of destruction to have a neutral being by their side, a master and their advisor. These beings must be neutral just like you, Daishinkan. They must be angels. And for that, I will create another angel to be the mother of these angels, and you will be their father, Daishinkan. In addition to being a great priest, the one who will walk and take care of my son, said the supreme being for Daishinkan. Daishinkan said, Yes, sir, but how can I turn someone into a god of destruction? The great priest asked Zenio. Zenio said, Simple. Regarding that, said Zenio, making a sphere of pure destruction in his hand. Zenio said, this is the power of destruction that I will give you. 
And with that power, you will be able to transform a normal being into a god of destruction. And your children must train them to control this power. And when the time is right, the gods of destruction must pass their post to the next generation. Said Zenio, explaining how the gods of destruction should be created to Daishinkan, who paid full attention to Zenio's words. Daishinkan said, yes, sir. But I have a question. How can I teach my children when I don't know how to control such power myself? Asked the high priest of Zenio, who was floating at the moment. Zenio said, simple. I will train you so that you can teach your children, and so that you can take care of my son. After all, I can't let someone weak take care of my son. So get up, Daishinkan, because from now on, I will be your master. Zenio spoke to Daishinkan, who soon got up and looked at Zenio. Daishinkan spoke, Yes, sir. When will my training begin, Master Zenio? Asked the angel now standing in front of Zenio. Zenio said, Now. Zenio said, shooting a key spear at the Daishinkan, who was not prepared for the attack, and ends up being thrown away, causing him to crash into a pillar, knocking it down in the process. Zenio spoke, First lesson, never let your guard down. Now get up and let's continue. Zenio spoke seriously to Daishinkan, who quickly removed the dropping pillar from his body and got up from the ground. Daishinkan said, Yes, master, said the angel, getting up and wiping some blood that was coming out of his mouth. That day, the Daishinkan training started to become the real great priest. Zenio was not pious at the time of the training, as he needed someone strong to take care of his son. The training of days became months, months became years, years became decades, and decades became millennia. And after several millennia, the Daishinkan was finally ready to become the high priest and take care of Zenio's son. Zenio said, Are you ready, Daishinkan? You are finally strong enough to become the high priest and take care of my son, said Zenio to Daishinkan, who was kneeling in front of him. Daishinkan said, Thank you so much, my master. I wouldn't be what I am today without your teachings. Even though I am very strict, I thank you so much for everything you taught me. The angel said with a smile on his face, happy to finally be at the level his master wanted. Zenio said, now it's time for you to meet my son Zeno. Zenio, who emitted a great light that came out of his body, and from that light a baby ended up coming out. This Zeno-sama being Zenio's son, who will soon after creating some guards to further assist you and your child's protection. These beings are Zenosama's bodyguards. Daishinkan said, Perfect, but who would that woman, Mr. Zenio, be? Said the high priest while looking at a woman who was behind Zenio. She looked a lot like Daishinkan. Zenio said, As I told you years ago, you would have to have children, and for that they will need a mother. I introduce you to Sonia, the future mother of the angels, said Zenio, introducing the Daishinkan's future wife to him. Sonia spoke. Hope we can get along, Daishinkan. She speaks to the Anja with a smile on her face. The Daishinkan spoke. I say the same, Sonia, speaks the high priest with a smile on his face. Zenio said, With that, everything I should do, I've already done. Now the future will be in your hands. Zenio spoke, attracting the curiosity of Daishinkan and Sonia. Sonia said, What do you mean, Zenio sama? asked the Anja, curious as to what Zenio was talking about. Zenio said, Well, I've already did what I should have done. I trained you. I taught you so that in the future you're trained, and I taught everything to my Daishinkan son, and that's why I'm leaving now. Zenio said, making the Daishinkan be very surprised by what he did say. The Daishinkan said, But Zenio-sama, why would you do that? asked the high priest of Zenio. Zenio said, Simple. I created everything that exists for my son to rule, so now I will go away so he can do that. But don't worry, I will always be watching everything as a viewer. I hope you can do your job well done, said Zenio as he flaked moving away and created a portal. Daishinkan and Sonia said, we will do it, Zenio-sama. Both angels spoke as they bowed to Zenio who soon entered the portal and disappeared from the place, back in another dimension. Currently, it was possible to see Zenio sitting on a kind of a throne while looking at a holographic screen that showed everything that was currently happening in all the universes he had created. Zenio carefully watched each of them, and not only them, but also his son Zenosama and the Daishinkan who was now responsible for taking care of Zeno and helping him in any way possible 
whether teaching Zeno or just taking care of and following his orders, some years later. Many years after the creation of all 18 universes, Zenio was still just watching everything that was happening in the universes. During those years, that was just what Zenio did. Not once did Zenio interfere in the decisions of the Daishinkin or his son Zeno, who still, he was very young, and therefore, the one who was taking care of all the universes was Daishinkin the High Priest. As previously ordered to Daishinkin and Sonia, they had children who would be responsible for each of the universes, having a total of 18 children, and these children would later train the gods of destruction and be their guides and help them in whatever it takes. Over the years, Sonia and Daishinkin's children grew and became stronger, and when all the angels were of an acceptable age, Daishinkin began training his children, so that, in the future, they would teach the gods of destruction to control the power of Hakai to energy of destruction. Zenio said, so far all my orders are being followed by the Daishinkin. That's good, very good, said Zenio, satisfied with Daishinkin, while still watching everything that was happening. Zenio said, it seems that the kaiju tree is growing healthy, and in a few centuries, it will bear its first fruits. I am looking forward to the birth of the first Kaioshins, and with that, the first Hakashins will be chosen, and so the balance of each universe will continue. Zenio while watching all the kaiju trees that were still growing in each of the 18 universes. Mysterious being said, I must say that your creation was very impressive, Zenio. All this for your son. That is a father who likes to pamper his son because creating 18 universes just for him to rule and do what he wants to me looks nice, but not an easy task, said a mysterious being who had a white cloak that was half covering his face. He was behind Zinnia's throne, who soon got up and faced him. The mysterious being said, it's been a while since we've seen each other, isn't it, Zinnia? Aren't you happy to see me? You look a little dejected. It must be boring looking at all your creation as a mere spectator. The mysterious being spoke in a mocking tone to Zenio, who was now serious. Zenio said, What do you want, Zalama? Tell me at once what you want. Zalama said, Well, you created everything in this new dimension, so I would like to do some things in it. But don't worry, my creations will be useful for your son, Zalama said while looking at Zenio, who was looking at him seriously. Zenio said, What exactly do you want to do, Zalama? Depending on what you do, I will allow it. But if I refuse, don't try to convince me, and don't try to do something behind my back. Because if you try, I'll kill you." Zenio said seriously to Zalama, who just laughed at him. Zalama said, You're very serious sometimes, you know. Zalama spoke while laughing at Zenio because of his seriousness. Zalama said, Well, I would like to be able to create a place where all the existing knowledge would be in one point and also create a race that would be my descendants, the Namekians. In addition, I would like to be able to create an object that can fulfill any wish that your son or anyone else wants." Zalama spoke while looking at Zenio, who was now thinking about Zalama's proposal. Zenio said, it's okay, but don't forget Zalama, if you try anything against me or my son, it's better to give up on living, because I'll kill you. Zenio said seriously to Zalama, who was scared by the aura that Zenio had released at that moment. Zalama said, don't worry Zenio, I'm not crazy enough to try to hurt your son. After all, I don't want to see you angry, I still like to live. Zalama said before turning into golden energy particles and leaving the place, leaving Zenio again alone on the spot. Zenio thought, let's see what this will turn out. But even though I already know that in the end Zalama will try something to kill me, and when that happens, I'll kill him first, or seal, thought Zenio, soon sitting back on his throne and returning to observe what was happening in all universes. Thousands of years later, after thousands of years after the conversation between Zenio and Zalama, several things were like Zalama having created a place where he would have all the existing knowledge between all the universes and put a being called Suno to be the caretaker of that place, and soon gaining the title of Sage Sun. Another thing that happened during these years was a decision by Zeno, who erased six of 18 universes for judging that they had mortals below the expected standard, all because the gods of destruction did not do a good job, bringing the imbalance and for that reason these universes were erased. And after the creation of the sage Suno, 
Zalama concentrated all his forces on creating the so-called Super Dragon Balls that would be used to fulfill any wish. And for that, Zalama asked Zenio to give some of his divine energy and put it in the Dragon Balls. Zalama said, finally, After hundreds of years, I got what I wanted the most. Now with these fears, I will be able to defeat and even kill Zenio, and finally, I will become the supreme god of all universes. And after that, I will kill the sun myself. Him and I will rule all 18 universes said Zalama while laughing like a crazy person, until he felt a very great power approaching him. Zalama said, It's too late now, Zinio. I now have the power of the Dragon Balls, and I have the power to kill you and take your throne, said Zalama, turning around and finding Zinio floating in front of him. Zinio said, For someone as smart as you, I thought you wouldn't be so stupid as to want to kill me, Zalama, but I already knew you would. That's why I put a small seal inside the Super Dragon Balls just in case. If it happened, would I seal your soul inside? Or did you really think I was dumb enough not to understand that you wanted these orbs for? Zenio spoke while looking at Zalama. Zenio said, I already knew that you only needed my energy to do unimaginable things with the Super Dragon Balls. Zenio said while looking at Zalama. Zalama said, if you knew I would do all this, why did you leave? All this just to show that you're superior to me? Asked Zalama, nervous. Zenio says, no, actually, I really wanted to see if you would betray me. And as it happened, I will seal your soul in the Super Dragon Balls. That way the balls will have enough power to recreate all universes. And even create new ones, universes as well. I must thank you for creating Sage Suno and the Spears. They will be very useful in the future. Zenio said, while raising his key, something that made Zalama scared. Zalama said, I will not be defeated by you, Zinio. Zalama spoke, concentrating all his power, and then firing a blast of key that would easily destroy planets and maybe an entire universe. But Zinio, who stood still without filling any muscle, to dodge the attack of Zalama while a lot of smoke appeared on the spot. Zinio said, Wow, this and all your power. I expected more from you, Zalama said Zinio, when all the smoke cleared, revealing Zinio without a scratch. Zinio spoke, Now goodbye, Zalama. Heavenly seal skill. Zinio spoke, causing several energy circles to appear all over Zalama's body, and soon all seven Dragon Balls appeared, and Zalama was separated into the seven balls that were planet-sized after sealing the Zalama's soul. In the spheres began to glow, and soon a gigantic red-eyed dragon appeared, which was golden. Zenio said, Zalama, the dragon god, so far that a good title for you, now split up, ordered Zenio, and soon the golden dragon balls disappeared, and the seven spheres were separated to universe six and seven. And that was the origin of Zenosama, and the story of Zalama, who was now called Zalama, the dragon god. And from the beginning to the end of time, Zenio would continue to observe the decisions of his son Zeno. With that, we will end today's video. If you like this amazing story, leave a lot of likes on the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, until another day guys.